everyone, it is Lisa from Stop, Drop, In It, and I am ready to unbox my November Paradise Fibers Fiber Club. I am so excited. This came yesterday, and oh my gosh, look how cute this package is. There's a moose, there's a moose, and a bear. I love it. I matched because I like to do that. So we're gonna just jump right on into this. I have no idea what is in here. I always completely avoid any and all spoiler emails. I avoid watching other people's videos until I have done mine. So, okay, so excited. I don't know what's in here. Let's see. All right, first of all, let's take this out. Oh, all right, well, this is beautiful. We have a woodland theme. This is right up my alley because I have been doing so much foraging and just walking in the woods these past few months. So, and dying naturally. Yarn. Yeah, it's amazing. So the November 2021 Woodland featuring new Tweety Camel Merino shades. I have never had camel fiber or yarn or camel anything. This is going to be really exciting. Okay. Um, Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. I just wanted, I just wanna dive right in. All right, first squishy package is nice and dark green. Second squishy package, oh my goodness, burgundy. These are so pretty. All right, I've got two squishy packages and I have a gray burlap bag. I love how I can't see anything. All right, and that is it. So, oh my gosh, this is really exciting. Um, which one should I do first? I think I'm gonna go with should I go with green because it matches my shirt, or purple because purple is my favorite color. Green. We're gonna do green because that's the one I pulled out first. So, all right, what is in here? I'm gonna let you guys see first. Can we even see? Ooh, this is gorgeous. Holy beautiful colors. Wow. Guys, seeing what I am seeing, this is gorgeous. All right, so this teal right here, it's not purple but it's another one of my favorite colors that shade of teal like basically i like most of all the really really deep jewel tones so oh my gosh you guys see that ah all right this is so pretty all right so there's that and then i'm excited for this one that one that was gorgeous what is in this one i am showing you guys first as always I think I'm gonna be happy with this one. Ooh. Wow. Look at those colors. Fall is also my favorite season. So like these, these deeper woodsier colors really appeal to me so much. Look at those. They're so pretty. Okay. Love it. So I'm guessing that they're the same fiber in maybe two different colorways. That is what I'm guessing. Um, all right, and then let's open, let's open this one and then we'll go through what everything is. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's either three or four ounces of fiber. All right, so we have, ooh, okay. Well, those are cute. All right, oh, that is so cute. Okay, so we have two little stitch markers on a little Christmas tree. That's adorable. And we have a cinnamon vanilla stash tea, which sounds lovely. Eunice. Oh, Eunice is all sweatered up. So cute. And then we have this little package with the buffalo plaid on it which is always fun. Like you have to have buffalo. I need more buffalo plaid. I've got buffalo plaid boots. 
Um, you have to have buffalo plaid if you're gonna go walking in the woods. Why haven't I walked in the woods in buffalo plaid yet? I'm gonna have to change that. All right. Ooh. Oh, this is sweet. I love this. Okay. I wonder if these are new. There's two little tags to sew onto your sweaters. And this one has Eunice, like the Paradise Fibers logo, and that's a gorgeous teal leather. And then, I don't know if it's real leather or not. We'll see. Um, and then this one says handmade, handmade with love. Those are super sweet. So it looks like, I don't, I don't know if they're like real, maybe like a suede -ish, but there's like a fuzzy felt, felt on the back. So those are super sweet. Okay. Awesome. Oh, what a fun package this is. Okay. So let's read what is on the back of this card. Okay. In your bag. So it says both fibers are available now exclusively for Fiber Club members via special order. So if I wanted more of either of these colors, because I am a Fiber Club member, I could go order them, but, um, and at a small discount. And, um, I am not affiliated with Paradise Fibers. My husband gifted me the subscription for Christmas last year. And I think that this might be the last month actually, because he ordered it and I got December's first. So I'm going to have to, uh, make sure that we renew for this Christmas because I definitely want to keep on subscribing. Love it so much. Um, but at the end of this month, these colors will be available for everybody. So don't fret. They are coming. Um, okay. So two new shades of Tweety Camel Merino. So there's about three ounces of each. The newest autumnal colorways to complement our beloved pumpkin spice blend. Mountainside Mums and Velvet Fog are inspired by the changing of seasons and foggy mountainside side strolls. Mountainside side strolls. Is that redundant? Mountainside strolls? Mountainside side strolls. Okay. Through color changing forests. These delightfully cozy blends consist of multiple shades of merino wool top, two contrasting natural shades of camel down and bits of black viscose tweed. Rustic and muted, these blends pair wonderfully together and are a delight to spin chunky to fine. A finished yarn made from our newest blends will be incredibly soft with temper, temperature regulating warmth. All right, so the velvet fog this one is velvet fog. It looks like fog and it looks like velvet. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. This is so beautiful. These are gorgeous colors. And then this one is mountainside mums. So, oh my gosh, so pretty. So pretty. Um, all right, so let's see. The velvet fog. It says, misty shades of teal cascade around whispers of willow and bold conifer that are reminiscent of dew-covered foliage, dappled throughout fog-enveloped mountainsides. Calming and dreamy, velvet fog inspires a timeless twist on an autumnal palette. And then, mountainside mums. Bountiful shades of ruby bloom among warm and inviting hues of mustard and terracotta that mimic the flora of our autumnal mountainside landscapes. Affectionate and tender, Mountainside Moms inspires cozy fireside retreats. That is so cute. And then let's see, Eunice is beyondled up. She's beyondled up in her sweaters. So that is so cute. Yeah, and the, the garment tags are suede for sure. And then these are called pomegranate stitch markers. They definitely look like pomegranate seeds there. I actually just am right now dyeing some yarn with pomegranate. So I just opened a half dozen pomegranates and yes, exactly like that. So, oh my goodness. Okay. This is super fun. Loving this. So let's read about the fiber now. Okay, so this is the fiber. So Tweety, Lofty, Warm. The newest shades of the Tweety Camel Merino blends inspire a season of rest 
with their gentle earth tones and robust lofty texture while celebrating all things fall. Complementary to our existing pumpkin spice blend of the same makeup, garments made from these rare autumnal blends are sure to keep you cozy and warm throughout this blustery windswept season. These blends contain the soft undercoat of the domesticated Mongolian Bactrian camel, a two-humped camel. These rare camels produce a coat that consists of two types of fiber, the guard hair and the undercoat. So we can see right here, there's a picture of the camel, with those two humps. How cute is that? All right. Um, Let's see, the guard hair is coarse and long and protects the camel from the brutal winters of the Mongol steppes region. The undercoat is quite soft and short and is used by the camel as insulation. The fibers shed naturally in the spring and are harvested, cleaned, and carded to separate the two types of fiber. The shorter staple length of, of the downy undercoat can be difficult to spin especially when blended with longer fibers as we have done in these blends. So this is a challenge, I think. Mindfully attenuate the fibers as you draft to achieve a consistent yarn or prepare the top into row legs for an easier spinning experience. And now we have a fun fact about this camel. So wait, what is this? This is the Mongolian Bactrian camel. Bactrian camel fiber is especially rare because a single camel only produces anywhere from five to 20 pounds annually. The desired downy undercoat fibers have similar properties to wool with hollow air-filled mattresses. Matrices? Mattresses? I don't know. That make them excellent insulators. Okay, awesome. So, all right. Now it has some pictures. So pictured here, those. So three ounces of each blend was divided in half with each half spun individually on separate bobbins as a chunky weight single. Okay, so that is a chunky weight single plied together in a two ply. So it created a super bulky weight with approximately 40 yards each. So both yarns were created by pre-drafting strips of color from the top in an attempt to preserve the colors from blending together too much when spinning. And then the pencil roving was spun quickly with minimal drafting needed. Okay, so this is like a chunky, how it would spin up potentially in a chunky weight. Um, and then pictured right, so these two down here, those up, Two and a half ounces of each blend was spun individually on separate bobbins as a lace weight single. And then each bobbin was then chain plied onto itself, which created a three ply DK weight yarn, approximately 75 yards each. So that is this one, DK weight. And then this one here was a half ounce of each blend spun individually on separate bobbins as a lace weight single. And then the singles were plied together, which created a fingering weight yarn, approximately 60 yards. Each yarn was spun across the top with medium twist. So I love how they give you like examples of like creating different weights of yarn. Probably I'll go for something like this. We will see. I have never chain plied before. That could be fun too, but I don't know if that's easy or not to do on a drop spindle. So we'll see, I might have to like get out my electric eel wheel soon. Um, and then on the back, they give you a pattern. And this is a pattern for a gingham neck warmer using both of the yarns together. So that is super cute. Oh, and they have the little, um, the little tag sewn onto it there. That's really, really cute. Um, okay, so this gingham neck warmer is a free pattern designed by Gabriella Papal and it was knit by Karen Goodson. So it says, try your hand at double knitting with this beautiful reversible gingham print knit cowl that features clean and round I-cord edges. 
This pattern is available for free on Ravelry and requires two skeins of DK weight. So a total of between 250 and 300 yards. So that would be like this weight right here. Um, to make a cowl like the one pictured, spin directly from the end of the roving. Karen spun all three ounces of each colorway into a worsted weight single, plied them onto themselves to make a two ply DK weight yarn with 130 yarns each. So that is a idea for that. Um, but is that right? Can you spin, is this a misprint or is this right? Am I reading this right? So spun all three ounces of each colorway into a worsted weight single and then plied them together to create a DK weight yarn. Would that be right? Wouldn't, doesn't the yarn usually get thicker after you ply them together? Did she maybe mean like fingering weight single or is it like just floofier? as a single and then just gets more compact when you ply them together. I have questions. Is this like a misprint or am I just not understanding that that is a way that you could spin these worsted weight singles and then get a DK weight plied yarn? Interesting, okay. Double knitting is a great way to create a piece of cloth that has no wrong side. This technique can really show off a charted pattern. Although the gingham neck warmer is a good beginner project for this technique, it's recommended you do a little practicing before diving into the pattern. And then they say that there is Very Pink Knits has a great tutorial on double knitting. Um, and the Knitting Help Double Knitting is the name of that video. So yeah, and then let's see. And then it just gives you some tips and tricks for double knitting right there. So you guys, that is the no November 2021 Paradise Fibers Fiber Club. So beautiful. I really love these. And I really like how they look all spun up and everything. So these are going to be gorgeous whenever I finally get around to spinning them. So I hope you enjoyed the November unboxing of Paradise Fibers Fiber Club. And I will see you guys in my next video and my next unboxing December. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.